Well, you know, Mother's Day is this Sunday, as we've been talking about. And having three kids myself, I want nothing more than to sleep in and maybe some breakfast and good quality time with my kids. No work. Well, I don't need anything else. Other moms in Denver telling me what they want most. Here are a few of them. Get right. this. A day without work or cooking. Mm -hmm. A gift certificate for a pedicure like that. And maybe flowers for my spring garden. All really good ideas if you haven't gone out and gotten something from your mom yet. And since we're honoring our mothers this weekend, I couldn't let the opportunity pass without saying to my mom, Aww. Happy Mother's Day. This is my mom and my granny all the way there on the left. So you got three generations because then there are my kids all in front. Right. Yeah, so happy Mother's Day. Mom, I'll get all emotional. I love you so much. Thank you for all well, you've some done. powerful women there. Oh, so we're always hearing the important message, eat more fruits and veggies, but do you wash and actually scrub those veggies? Well, here are the dirtiest fruits and veggies, and you I really do. I beg your do. pardon? Well, take it however you want it, but they're dirty, okay? <laughs> you need to wash them. Get the scrubber out okay. and scrub. Okay. Your celery, your peaches, your strawberries, right. apples, blueberries, nectarines, those are the ones that are more porous and they hold more really? of the dirt. E. coli, some of those things. So don't forget you need to do that. Okay? Good advice. All right. So now we're, now we're talking about having a baby later in life. And the idea of having a baby late in life went to a whole new level with someone who works right here with us. It's happening more than ever before. And there's definitely an increase in older women, especially women who are 40 and over having children. Dr. Menares is with the Colorado Center for Reproductive Medicine. Their business is booming with women who focused on other things in life, and now they don't want to wait to start families. Part of that is time delay from trying to get their careers going and delaying having children. For some women, it's a second marriage. Jolene isn't quite 40, but knew she better work fast to have little coal before her risk went up. When things just weren't working, um, I went to my other doctor and we tried the Clomid. We tried the Clomid for four months and that still wasn't working. Dr. Menares says the likelihood that you would have a fertility issue is only 10 to 15 percent in your 20s, but 40 percent in your 40s. The other issue that comes in as we get older is we have a higher uh, probability of having genetically abnormal eggs. So our miscarriage rates also begin to go up. And there are higher complications for women that do get pregnant past 40. Higher rates of gestational diabetes, which is diabetes in pregnancy, higher rates of preterm labor, higher rates of preeclampsia. So here's what Dr. Menara says you need to know if you're wanting a baby at 40 or beyond. First, get in shape. How fit a woman is will di dictate their overall complication rate as they go through pregnancy. Next, see your doctor to do hormonal testing. Get a head start instead of waiting through months of frustration. You might also consider an egg donor, healthier eggs from a woman in her 20s. The overall delivery rates for those women approach 80%. And if you know you might one day want children, but you're not ready? Women um, who are younger should look at options of, for instance, egg freezing opting to move forward, banking eggs to be used in the future. Finally, do some research. There's plenty of help out there, and science is making babies possible much later in life. Isn't the science amazing? Sorry, we flip-flopped our stories there. That was the story about having a baby later in life, obviously, right. in your 40s. But it's, it's, it's happened for one of our reporters here who's 52. Maybe you know Julie Hayden? I just said, you know, my daughter that I already have is just so wonderful, and the whole thing has been so wonderful, to have an opportunity to do this again with this wonderful man, you know, I'm so in love with, and to have him have a child, it just, what a gift. Wow, Julie Hayden is, uh, she's just had her baby, she's 52. 52. Yep, her second, because she has an older daughter in her 20s, but she wanted to experience it all again with her new husband. So we're so happy for her. This was her baby shower here with a bunch of ladies here from work. And they're, we're having a special on having a baby later in life. Libby Weaver's covering this, and it's going to happen Monday night um, on our sister station, Fox 31 News at Denver. How about that? Good for her. Yeah, very happy Good for Julie for her. and her baby. All right, coming up next, 